so instead of just showing you what's in the pack, I thought, let's show you how it's used. So let's just come up. So like, let's say here, I want to add in a transition. Simple. We'll just come up to the effects library, type in an EB, and then we'll just go down to the transitions. So let's just grab number five. See how that looks. All right. That might be a little too long. So let's just jump one second and we'll just shorten this up for one second. And then all we have to do is just move this so that we're at least the whole screen is covered. So you can't see the jump from one to the other. And there we go. All right. So now let's add in a subscribe button. Let's listen to this audio quick. So like right here, we're going to actually have it where it's uh, clicking the button. So here is our subscribe button. Once it actually loads, there we go. And let's make this one, let's do three seconds. So it's not too fast and not too slow. One, one, two, three. There we go. Now we'll close this up. And there we go. We got our subscribe button. Let's have it go with the sound. So let's move this over right there where it goes. Tsh. We'll have the actual clicking of the button. Boom. Right there. And then the other thing that I want to do is my subscribe button uh, actually has the number of subscribers I have. So let's change that. So this is the pre click before the button. And in here, let's just put in. Okay, that's how many I have. And it looks like the box is a little too small. So we'll just increase the size of the box. And the main reason why I have the ability to uh, edit these is because if you're from another country, and you're on that version of YouTube in the other country, uh, you might have subscribe written differently, or maybe you just want to put something completely different in there. But here you have the ability to change the colors of the text and the uh, button itself. And then once it gets clicked, the text and then the button also. And then you have the ability to change the width if whatever you want to put in the box is longer or s smaller than the box is. And that won't affect uh, how it opens up and closes. So now it uh, rendered here. So let's watch that. So now for this next video, let's say I want to add in some information about this uh, lens that we have here on screen. So I'm just going to come over here to our other uh, things and we have these infos and I think it's info two that I want to use. So let's bring this in here. There we go. And let's just throw the name of this lens. So the main title right here throw that main title in here. Okay, let's move down the date. There we go. And let's get a description. I'm just kind of looking on a website here. All right, so here's our description. Close that one description, boom, and it's a little too big. So let's come back to the beginning. And right here, I'm just throw that there. There we go. So now we have the info and a little description about that. And then we have it down here. Obviously you can make this longer uh, if you wanted it to be longer because this is a bit of information. Okay. So now that we have that, let's come into our project a little bit more. And I have uh, two boxers and let's say we want to throw up their, in or their Instagram. Let's do an Instagram one. So I'll just bring in the Instagram here bring that over. We already have it. Everything there. We have the box size. If we need it to be bigger, I'll just put in my Instagram for now in the account. There we go. And then I can adapt the box to fit uh, everything and everything. If, as you can see, everything realigns um, right on the size of that, whatever the size of that box is that you need. And then um, so like, let's say now I just click this button here and let's move it down over here. There we go. Perfect. And let's add in uh, Twitter. I use Twitter often throw the Twitter one in here as well. Currently they're off timing, but that's okay. 
there we go and let's put the Twitter one over here maybe we want the Twitter one to be longer I can make it longer we still preserve the animations even though we made it longer if you want to change the background you can if you don't want to have a background you just turn everything to zero and then there you go it's a little difficult to read uh, because it's black text so we'll just change the color of the text quick and then there we go finally the last one that i wanted to show you is one of my uh, titles these are just like any of the other titles this one particular has an episode box you can obviously make that say whatever you want so this is going to be my episode five change the size of the box just like the previous stuff change the color of the box and you can also uh, go in there and change the uh, text as well and then that would be the animation and you can make these longer if you want it to and like i said before it would preserve that animation uh, going animating out and in and then there we go <laughs> And finally, let's add in one more transition. Here we go. Let's just make this a one second transition. Bring that back. And then just make sure right there we're filling up the screen and we have all the colors for all the different elements in the transition. So let's let this render out quick. There we go. Oops. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you with the pack. Let's quickly run through all the elements now.